is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back yet again in the day with brand new action figure news and not just any action figure guys and it is not just wwe today it is aew and rival collection news guys you guys know that the news has been out just insanity in the month of june just news after news after news leaks and reveals and new stuff coming and actual actual real images legitimately coming out from wwe.com we had double or nothing fan fest we have that may have been last month you guys get the point lots of news coming because san diego comic-con is just around the corner just a few weeks away i think it's literally like 23 days or so away and i'm so excited to get into comic-con but before we get there guys like i said the news would just be leaking out and leaking out and leaking out and today we're back with more news and i cannot wait to get into it with you guys and break it down and just kind of explain everything and you guys can let me know what you think of it down below but before we get into that guys we have to give a huge shout out to my man pain maker figs on instagram because he's always coming through clutch with the leaks prince of figures always coming in clutch with the leaks and the reveals unstable 1047 my boy dougie Nunn you. We love all of our news sources here on the MDT channel. So huge shout out to all of them guys, but let's get into it, man. AEW Unrivaled 2 packs. Let's go ahead and bring up the first image here, guys. You guys will see this AEW Unrivaled Collection 2 pack. Again, huge shout out to Painmaker figs for the leaked out photograph right here but this is very interesting news because you guys will notice that it is a John Moxley and a Darby Allen two-pack figure kind of like a two-pack like we would see with Triple H and Jeff Hardy kind of like we've seen in the past with the Blood Brothers two-pack that we got with the ringside exclusive and all of those different things so we are not you know the, the two packs are not foreign to us we've seen them a ton of times Mattel even has the battle pack series but if you guys pay attention here you know AEW and I think Jazzwares even came out out, you know and has said this specifically but I'm pretty sure they've even let us know that there's not going to be like basic figures they're not going to do like basics and like you know tooled down actual figures anything they release is going to be similar to unrivaled slash what I see what I call elite figures like in WWE and there's elites and basics I call AEW figures I call them unrivaled figures because that's the style that they are they are unrivaled figures so whether it's a two-pack whether it's the unmatched series it's still an unrivaled figure if that makes sense so just because a series is called something else I'm still going to call them unrivaled figures like I do with Mattel's WWE elites it's still an elite figure in this case it is an unrivaled figure so you will see this two-pack of the unrivaled John Moxley and Darby Allen now one thing you will notice also immediately is that it looks to me like this John Moxley and this Darby Allen are re-releases now you're probably thinking to yourself why would they do that and I'm actually thinking the exact same way you are because you guys remember that not only do we have this two-pack right we also have the four pack that we saw not too long ago that was leaked out that featured the Kenny Omega, the Chris Jericho, the John Moxley, and the MJF figure. And all of those figures in that pack were also re-releases. You had the Kenny Omega from Series 4, the Moxley from Series 5, the Jericho from Series 6, and the MJF from Series 6. And then here we are in this new two pack where it looks like John Moxley is from Series 5 and the Darby Allen is also from Series 3. Now I think this is the same Darby Allen. I'm looking at it right now and I think it is. It could be a slight variation, but what from what I'm thinking, I think it it is a straight up re-release. You will also notice that they have a barbed wire bat, an AEW championship, interchangeable hands, and a Darby Allen skateboard. And I'm pretty sure that's the same Darby Allen skateboard that we got with his Series 3 figure. Now there's a lot of things that are kind of around this two-pack because you're probably think like it's it's something that has been regurgitated multiple times about the AEW figures and the line itself is why is there so many re-releases? And I honestly couldn't tell you why in a certain case because I don't know why, like I know we're getting a Series 5. Like, Series 5 will be hitting stores in maybe a month or two. I would hope just a month, but you never know. Series 4 is just now hitting, so it'll probably be a month or two for sure. However, if they have the John Moxley in the singles pack, they have the John Moxley in the double pack right here, and then you have the John Moxley again in that four pack, I don't know, man. I feel like that is kind of overkill, especially when they're not in a different gear. This is legitimately, I think, the third time that we will see the same figure release. Now, I don't know. This could just be a sample, right? This could just be what we think we're going to get, and then they may change the gear later I don't think that's the case I think this is what we're getting or maybe it would have been better if they actually put the chase variant in the double pack but then people would probably feel like their chase variant is you know useless at this juncture with the eye patch and stuff and the different t-shirt and all that stuff so I don't I don't know man there's a lot of stuff to unpack with this two pack but uh it's just very weird and we haven't really gotten any information I'm guessing that by comic-con they're gonna come out and tell us exactly what it is about these two packs where we can expect them to release how much we can expect them to go for what future two packs we could get and uh, I'm guessing the only thing that I can think of and what a lot of people 
else are thinking of is because that uh, once they start getting more shelf space, people are going to be jumping into the line that are action figure collectors, and they're going to want to catch up on figures that they missed out on. So up to this point, we're five, six series in. We're five complete series in. Series six has not shipped yet. So we're five series in. You have these exclusives and stuff. So I'm guessing the people that pour into the wave once we get more shelf space, when they jump into the line, oh, I missed out on this figure. I missed out on this figure. I missed out on this figure. And then you can go back and get in on those figures. I don't know, man. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of just craziness right now with the AEW figures and the line and like what we're getting and what we're you know what's expected to come out and like stuff we haven't even heard about. So we're just gonna have to wait again. We didn't get any of this at Fan Fest, so I don't know. You know, they didn't tell us anything about this. They told us a lot, and they didn't even include these two packs or the four packs or any of that stuff. So we will just have to wait and see about that. But we also have another two pack. We we don't just have the one two pack, man. We have two two packs here, and the second one is a little bit better as far as you know figures and stuff and re-releases. So the second second one pulling it up on your screen is going to be SCU and it is not Christopher Daniels this time or anything like that guys we're getting a re-release of Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Sky but you guys will notice that they are in different gear I think this is their orange gear and maybe the red gear I think it's orange at least by the photo uh, again it could be red I'm, I you know the I don't know it kind of looks like both to me could be either or but it's going to come with the AEW Tag Team Championships you get two microphones interchangeable hands and then you have the Scorpio Sky figure in the orange slash red attire and then you have Frankie Kazarian in the same thing there and it looks to be like these are straight up re-releases of their series 5 figures and now that I think about it I'm pretty sure this is the red gear so I think this is going to be the red gear which is pretty sick I like it a lot you know as far as that is concerned maybe you can like do some different switches and swappages and make some different figures and stuff but again we don't know when these are coming we don't know where these are coming to we don't know how much they retail for just like the four pack man I mean I don't even know what to price these at you guys know that a singular AEW figure usually runs close to the elite price which is around 17 to 20 dollars depending on where you're shopping at you know walmart target etc ringside collectibles it just depends on where you're getting the figure from but if you put that with a two-pack the two-pack is going to at least cost 40 45 and then when you're talking about a four-pack it's got to be like 79.99 or $84.99 or something like that if I had to guess. It could be cheaper than that which would make those things very valuable and like highly collectible. I am al already way ahead of you guys. I'm a mock collector for the AEW line so with the Unmatched series coming out and then you got the two packs and it's two packs of figures that we've already gotten. It's kind of hard you know so I, I still have to get I think uh, a couple more from series four. I still have to get a, uh, a mock set of the Blood Brothers. You got these two packs and then you got the four pack especially if I'm going to review it for you guys and then I got to get an extra to you know keep mock and then you know all those different things but I mean if you're into making customs and stuff if you could get that four pack for really cheap and then you could flip all the figures and make new attires I mean that's another thing you could do as well it's just a lot of craziness right now with AEW figures and everything like that man but what do you guys think of these two packs I think they're absolutely insanity that we're getting another Moxley and it's a straight up Moxley that we're gonna get for a third time I think that's what's kind of crazy to me I don't know man you guys can let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. I know that Darby, maybe, it, I don't know, it's just hard to say. Maybe they're redoing the two packs for the tag title belts, and then they're redoing Darby Allen and John Moxley because those are really high sellers and big time names that are on TV every week and big stars, and kids are going to want Darby Allen and kids are going to want John Moxley. I don't know, man. It is just a lot of stuff up in the air, but we will just have to wait and see. I know the four pack is kind of cool because it's like four main event talents all right there in the packaging, and you could, that's like an epic set to get for your birthday man like if I if I'm imagining I'm five six years old and then I open this big box and it's got four figures in it and it's got you know Kenny and Jericho and Moxley I mean it kind of reminds me of Jack's days which I really like I just kind of wish they had different gear but at the same time, man, it's pretty sick. Like, I know it's re-releases and stuff, but at the same time, man, when I think about being a kid and, like, re opening that up on Christmas or something, man, I would absolutely shit a brick out of my butt. So that is what is so awesome about these about these packs. It really brings back the Jax days, which I know is super fun to me. It may, I don't know. AEW figures have really brought back a lot of fun for me, collecting-wise, because I have a goal, you know, of collecting a mock and stuff. And it just, going after the chase figures and stuff, while we have our headaches here and there, I don't know, man. The AEW figures are really fun to collect, and I don't know. I guess we'll know more information about these as we get closer to SDCC, and I'm sure 
at Comic Con Jazz Wares and Jeremy and everybody will talk about these and let us know exactly what's going on. So we'll have to see about that, but I think that pretty much does it for my video, guys. Let me know what you think of these two packs and who you hope they make. Like, I feel like the Bucks would have been made, like, in some new gear. I feel like that would sell really well. Or, you know, uh, MJF and Wardlow would be a really cool two-pack in some gear that we haven't seen. That gives you a chance to get an MJF as well as the unmatched Wardlow that we're missing. You know, so there's a lot of stuff that you could do with the two-packs, man. A lot of potential here, and hopefully this is just the beginning where we'll get more figures and more talent in there. You know, tag teams, private party, things like that. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And don't cross the line like the two-packs or the third Moxley of the same figure that we've, that we've already seen. You cross the line. I've been beaten, broken down.